Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to be flying the DJI Avada 2 with the master air screw props in manual mode, reaching top speeds of 60 miles per hour. Uh, it's great. Uh, it's only temporary. You do get an error when you go really fast, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a glitch in the software, but the drone does tap out uh, and basically tells you that uh, the uh, battery is um, it's reached its peak when it hasn't. So it's a little bit of a bummer there, but um, we're able to see how fast this goes. And you're probably wondering too. So without any further ado, come, let's get started. Let's test out this thing and, uh, and see how it uh, flies and check out that error. If anyone's seen that error before, you know, maybe chime in there in the comments and, and share how to uh, uh, reset it so it doesn't happen. Maybe there's something in the settings that have to be set so that you can fly faster than 60 to 65 miles an hour. Anyway, come, let's get started. Okay, so we're in normal mode. We have 98% battery on the drone. Uh, we have 23 megabytes per second, which should give us good video. We'll probably jump to 50 or 60 when we take off. And we have 25 satellites and 75%, wow, left in the goggles, which could go fast. We're gonna take off, I'm just gonna adjust my goggles. Hello, everybody. All right, so now I just need to fix another one. And that's it. All right, so three, two, one. We're gonna take off in normal mode. And we're gonna try this. Um, we're gonna put it in manual mode. Of course, we always go up a little bit. Remember, this is for the new guy. And we like to take off in the opposite direction of where people are. And I believe there could be people over there. I'm not sure. No, there are some. Anyway. Um, knowing that moving forward, I'm just gonna go here and make sure our camera, and remember when you put it into M mode, okay, let's see, sport, M, Oop, where's M, there we go. I'm gonna, oh, oh nice, the angle's already at 15, which is great because that'll give us slow motion. You know, slow, we're going like, see, six miles per hour which is really cool. High wind velocity, it is windy out, which is a little bit of a bummer, but always keep that finger on the, um, you know, I'm just getting in my bearings, okay? So now that we know their angle is correct, oh, remember, you only have to adjust one stick, okay? See the green one, which is really weird how it was really low. All right, and now we're in manual mode, okay? So remember, you could always fly when you put it in M mode, and you're not in M mode until you actually adjust your joysticks. Kind of neat, huh? So there we are, flying. And we could have it go a little bit slower, but 12 miles an hour is pretty good. Um, let's see what we got here. Just want to see, remember, we're testing out the new props, okay? If that makes any sense. Whoa. Pretty close, huh? But I want to see. We'll just fly around, just testing it out. We'll go through here. It's a beautiful day out again. A little bit windy, if you ask me, um, but it still works. Uh, leaves are changing color. It's that time of year. See, the field is empty. There were some people in here earlier uh, as I was heading in here, but I don't see them now. I always try to, when I'm with the motion controller, you know, I'm fine with it. 26, you know, 20, 20, 20, my top speed of probably about 30 miles an hour. Um, and again, remember, we're not trying to go really fast as of yet. We're just testing out these props so that um, we, you know, like, uh, I don't know if you've been following me on the Facebook forum, uh, DJI actually chimed in and said, we don't recommend using third-party stuff and only use stock. I was like, oh, okay. This is pretty cool. 24. All right, pretty good. Remember, we're, we're at the, the uh, gimbal. Nice. We can go that way. And then we'll go this way. So far, so good like it it's pretty smooth if you ask me um remember the camera angle which we'll show you right here is at well i guess it, this is nice that it goes back to zero you saw that 
I put it into sport mode, but then when I put it into, oh, I gotta put my stick in the middle. When I put it into manual mode, it jumps to 15, which isn't so bad. If you've seen my video with the DJI uh, Neo, it actually jumps to 40, which is a little bit of a bummer. Let's see if, let's see what um, that gets us. Oh, I think it was, what was it, it said at? Eight degrees, okay? Let's see how it handles that slow. Before we go full throttle, 76% battery. See, 12 miles an hour just allows us to sort of, you know, maneuver the drone. And remember, wherever you point the center is where you're going to go. So don't, you know, worry about it. Unless, you know, you get the jitters and sometimes it, the, um, it might require recalibration. But you see, look at that. Eight miles an hour. See? We can go really slow. Kind of neat, huh? And this allows you to just work your craft in manual mode, see, but now it's sort of like, where's my center? Like, it's not really centered when I'm not telling it to be centered. So that part you have to be careful for when it drips. And that could be because of the wind, um, but it's, it's still pretty good. Our height, let's see, so yeah, so it is windy. Um, you can tell with the flag blowing, but we're going about 16 miles an hour. Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty good five miles an hour see just don't tilt it just go slow but I can feel the wind blowing on my face to the point where I'm like oh my god so see yeah yeah it's high wind velocity velocity so that is going to cause the drone to drift a little bit but these remember we're just testing out the, the propellers probably maybe at 50 percent we'll just knock it out right let's see we're just gonna go through there and go around and then let's see I wonder if it's wide enough to go through one of those things oh no maybe I have to see I have to check it out I didn't measure it uh, let's see yeah all right and then um, how do we know we're in full manual mode because we can do flips Ooh. okay a little bit of a bumpy let's go to the other field nice slow turn a little jumpy. Now let's try a forward roll. Nice. Oh wow, the way it handles is pretty smooth. I like it. All right, so that's good. It is challenging in the wind, but on that note, I believe we're at 61%. All right, so this is it. This is where we um, change, the, put it into normal mode. We're going to change the camera angle by putting into the manual and letting it, letting it, um, letting it I'll try 40 since the other ones, since the Neo actually is always in 40, it jumps in 40, but I have to lower it. Oh, wow. Look at that plane over there. Oh, it beats having a bird. All right. Let's see. 35, 36, 39, 40. Nice. We don't want to go full throttle just yet. If we do go full throttle, we're going to do it in this field over here. Because we want to make sure, like, if something happens that... 53%. Not bad. 45, 46, 47, 48. 49, 50, 51, 52. So we got 50 miles an hour. That's pretty, I don't want to go too fast with it because like DJI said, please use the stock material. So we got 50, I think one time I got 55, but I don't want to, I don't know if we could handle it or not, you know? See how it like jitters. Nice. I think we could do a loop. Let's go around through here. See, I like it because it's a little, it's a little shaky, but I like to stay in this field. Let's see. Nice. So, oh, wow, 35%. All right. So we're able to do 50 miles an hour, which is pretty cool. I 
like it. It's smooth. It's definitely a much smoother flight. For sure. Gotta love it. Ah, we're at 27%. It's okay. Low battery return home promptly. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. It's okay. We'll throw another one in. Bring it in right about here. Nice that it goes back to zero. We're in sport mode, bringing it down before it starts to beep. And battery low. Return home. We are home. Too bad it doesn't know you're home when you're home. That's the downside. Like, like it should know I'm home and, and, and then stop that, you know? And then just shut it off. All right. Kind of neat. I think I'm going to throw another battery in, though. Gotta love it. Okay, so we got one, two, three, five, five, five. All right, so here we go. We've got... 99% um, battery, 23 megabytes per second, should, should give us good video uh, feed. 13 satellites and 67% um, uh, battery left in the goggles. Um, remember, you don't take off on the red, you wanna take off when it's white, when it says you're good to go, um, because otherwise, you know, you can, the drone will drift or sort of have a mind of its own. Return home altitude, make sure that's correct. Uh, I like to maybe go, well, this drone doesn't need to go that high because we're above the tree line. And make sure your drone is facing in the position that you want it to take off on, and that's pretty much it. Start motors and take off. Remember, we're in end mode, so we're okay. Um, we could take off, well, we can put it in manual right about here. And then, oh wow, it's already in 40. Okay, let's see if I could do it, like pitch the angle a little bit different. A little bit more. Let's try 50. All right. Is it, it's weird how the stick is asking me to move it down instead of centering it. So it might need a calibration. Because um, usually it's not supposed to be like that. 31 miles per hour. Remember, have your finger on the panic button just in case things don't go according to plan. Wow, you saw that? 59 miles per hour? 59, 60. Wow. Kind of neat. Top speed with these propellers. Gotta love it. I don't want, but you want to go slow on the turns. Wow, 60 miles per hour with the Abata. Two, that is. Go up a little bit. I like to fly above the tree line. And be aware of your surroundings because. See that tower? Gotta watch out for the tower. And the fence. And everything else around it. And your satellites. Go slow on the turns, remember that? Because we don't know how it's gonna handle with that funkiness that we saw in our previous video. I could hear it though, from far away. That's cool. Top speed, 60 miles per hour. I'm not sure if it's the propellers, though, that actually allowed me to go that fast, you know? Remember, slow on the turns. Wow, it handles 50 miles per hour on a turn. That is pretty... What? Oh. Battery level low, throttle up. Okay, that was weird. I've never seen that before. Huh. Interesting. Maybe because we're... Huh. We'll just bring it back. That's weird. I don't know if anybody ever... Has anybody ever seen that before? I've never seen that before. Maybe I'll bring it in for a hard reset. Um, yeah. All right, let's try that again. That is so weird. Battery level low, throttle output something. Maybe, hold on one second. Let me check the battery on my, no, all batteries are fine. Battery on the goggles 65. Battery on my DJ RC3 is fine. Hmm. Interesting. Whoops. Yeah, it's because, all right, 
impact detected. That's fine, that's me, um, because I was trying to bring it down, but, hmm, interesting. All right, let's try it again. Battery, yeah, maybe I'll bring it in, hold on. Maybe I'll reboot it. That's weird, I've never seen that before. All right, so we're able to get 60 miles per hour. That's pretty good. But I'm not sure what that error is. Hmm. Maybe it's reached its peak in prime on all that other fun stuff. All right, we'll land it, reset it, and see how it goes. Five. Five. Five, finito. All right, let's see what we got. Take off, 98% battery on the drone, 23 satellite, no, 23 megabytes per second, which should give us good video feed. And then we have 27 um, satellites, which is good, and 64% battery on the goggles. All right, knowing that, moving forward. Uh, hopefully we don't get that error again. Um, I'll have to Google that because I've never seen that error before, to be honest with you. Oh, it's really windy though. Wow. You could hear here and see. yeah, so it's a little bit windy. Um, high wind velocity. Hopefully it works out. Oh wow, there's a hawk over there. Uh, yeah, Mr. Hawk is probably thinks this is dinner. Let's see. So let's try 66 bring it up actually let's just do a reset bring the drone up if we're going to pitch the camera angle to a degree that's a little bit different so we're going to go probably 100 feet up maybe 120 above the tree line high wind velocity which is okay um since we know the avada 2 handles really well oh, it's as high as it goes 68 okay manual oh it's weird how it's telling me to pitch it down it's really weird Manual mode. Oh, there we go. Like, I always thought that it wanted me to center my sticks. But apparently, maybe that's what it thinks center is. Remember, slow on the turn, but with a camera angle pitched like that. Look, 50, 51, 52, 53. It is windy, though. Go slow on the turn. Oh, wow. Don't keep aware, keep clear from the birds, because they see you as dinner. So if I disappear, we know what happened. Sport mode, check for the bird. Look around. Okay, that was clear, that was pretty close. They were like, dinner. I remember. Oh, you only have to adjust one stick. Okay. One and done. The other one you just leave. But it's, it's a hard habit to break. Go slow on the turn, remember. Okay. Nice. Battery, oh man. Fifty-eight percent battery. Sweet. I'm just slowing it down so I can get some more battery. It does dissipate fast when you go faster. So even if you reach top speeds of 60, 65 miles an hour. Mm, just know you gotta have enough juice. See? Battery low. It knows when it's low. Okay, good. So you know what? 
um, we can, that's nice. So at 44%, it knows. So what we can do is, let's see what happens when we leave it there and then put it into M mode, right? And then not only put it at 60, see if the battery level throttle actually readjusts itself um, 10, all right? Put it at 10. And maybe it, it'll self-correct. No, nah, it doesn't self-correct, but it does. Battery level low, throttle output. Okay, it's okay, we'll just fly. Oh, because it's eating up, wow, the battery. Look, it went from 40 to 39 really fast. All right, 60 megabytes per second, which is good. Remember, if you're gonna do any flips and turns, make sure there's nobody in the way. We're gonna slow the drone down a little bit, right about here, and flip it. Sweet, oh, it is smoother though. That's really nice. I like the fact that it's smoother. I'm gonna spin it around and go here and then, you know, just do a fly. Oh, wow, I like that. Yeah, try doing that with the regular propellers. Kind of neat. Gotta love it. Oh, 34%, gotta be careful though. Remember, um, we're running out of juice. So we'll bring it in. And I believe that's it. Well, how high am I, 120 feet? Try a backflip. Oh wow, it's smoother, definitely much smoother. Uh, and if you wanna know the rates I'm flying, uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But before the battery dies, I'll share that with you. We'll throw it in here and then put it back into sport mode. Make sure your joystick is centered. Uh, it's because we're gonna lose our screen. Uh, and then go here, transmission, I believe it's in settings. Control, remote controller, and gain an expo. These are the rates, okay? So feel free to pause, uh, write these down, or take a screenshot, whichever works best for you. Um, anyway, that's it for that. And looks like um, throwing it into M mode really does eat up the battery the faster you go. So you're only gonna get short thrills of it. Once you peak at 60, or maybe if you try to reach 65, um, you know, the drone is like, I can't, no more, mister, please, no more. All right, so there we are. So we'll just bring it in. All right, we're in sport mode. Let's try maybe normal mode. Maybe that'll give us some more juice, the juice we need to say goodbye. All right. Really. There we are. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, notice we were able to reach 60 miles per hour, but just remember the faster you go, the shorter time you're gonna have left in the air and then it taps out at like 50% and telling you that you've reached full throttle um, battery level even though everything is fully charged. Um, so it's a short thrill. Uh, so that experience is not gonna be long lasting uh, on this particular or any particular drone, um, but it does last longer than the Get Bar C and some of the others. Um, but anyway, I, I hope that this video helped you and just remember, well, I would say 35, 40 is ideal. Uh, for that experience that you want. I'm just gonna check this here and make sure it doesn't land. Uh, but anyway, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.